Hey everyone, I'm Casey Hollins and you're watching the Sportsnet Digital Dose. We've got Dan Robson from Sportsnet Magazine in studio today and we're talking about something a little bit different. You got a little bit of a different experience um, when Ari Dickey was in Toronto for the first time. You kind of got to hang out with him and, and meet him at the airport and spend some time with him during the day and I just want to know what that was like for you. Right, it was, it was really interesting actually. We uh, met him right when him and his wife came off the, uh, the airplane uh, and, uh, that morning when they first introduced him and unveiled his jersey and everything. So we toured the, uh, the dome with him, we mm -hmm. walked through everything, we went through the, this Hall of Fame era, the, this merchandise area, not merchandise, it's uh, all the trophies and, mm -hmm. and all of the old plaques and like that and we walked up and down the, and talked about Jay's history which is really neat, and sort of seeing this next chapter yeah. and where he fits into it. I Does he know him, a lot about Yeah, he remembers, <laughs> he remembers watching the, uh, the 93 series yeah. and Joe Carter hitting the home run. He remembers where he was and the excitement that he felt. Uh, and he's really excited about knowing how much energy Toronto had mm -hmm. at that time and, and how much you know, the city could have again. What was your favorite part about the day? Or was there anything that, maybe I should ask this, was there anything that was unexpected that happened during your time with him? That was unexpected. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I mean, we had met before when I did a, did a story about mm -hmm. him, so I knew how I knew how articulate he right. is, which is what I think most people, um, when they first chat with him, don't really get. They're they're kind of like, oh my goodness, I mm -hmm. can't believe how how you know bright he is, and and how uh, and how compelling it is when you sit down and have a conversation mm -hmm. with him. Um, so I found I was I was sort of ready for that, and I definitely at times felt like I was, you know. I needed to catch up into the conversation because yeah. he was so fast. So uh, th I think that that was probably the biggest uh, thing for sure. After spending some time with him, what do you? What impression do you get about how he's going to fit in with the team and fit in in the city? Right. Uh, I think well, I asked him what he plans to do in the city. He's excited about coming uh, mm -hmm. to Toronto, uh, just being part of the the multicultural community that mm -hmm. that Toronto is. He's, he knows a lot about it. He's been here a few times pitching, but mm -hmm. um, just in terms of what Toronto brings as a you know, as a citizen here, he's really excited just about being part of the fabric of, of the city. But at the same time, uh, for the team, he, he's being 38 years old, the guy who's done so much to get to where he is right now, um, he's excited about bringing sort of a sense of leadership and, and mm -hmm. a sense of stability to a team that, that has many different players at different levels along their way, like young, energetic guys and mm -hmm. guys that, that, that in the prime, you know, and, and bringing it all together and being sort of a, a cohesive force in that, he seems pretty excited about that. He's probably not going to be hanging out with Brett Laurie and Jay <laughs> Pierre and CBA and hitting the bars with those guys, right. but but he'll he'll probably fit in yeah. well, is what you're saying. I asked him if he was going to start a book club with them, and he <laughs> said uh, he wasn't entirely sure if everyone would be in the same kind of literature yeah. as he is. But Fair we'll see. You, you, by the end of the uh, the year, you might see them all gathering before games or you know in, in, uh, in practice. And, That's and the wonderful about. thing. You never know. They might pick <laughs> up some of his hobbies. They'll be watching Star Wars movies together. You, yeah. know, you never know. Anyway, that's all the time that we've got. But be sure to check out the Ari Dickey special that is airing tonight on all of Sportsnet's regional regional channels. It's uh, it's a must watch for sure, especially if you're trying to get to know one of the biggest, well, the biggest name that we have that's new on the roster to the Blue Jays. Very exciting stuff coming up for the season. It's, uh, it's exciting that it's starting now. So anyways, thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. And check back in a little bit for another Sportsnet Digital Dose.